All right, so taking a look at 3.07, remember these numbers. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on on the other side here. So basically, this one is very similar to what we've done in the past. Uh, similar setup. We are taking an input, creating an array list, creating an array list, I guess, first, and adding the input until something causes us to stop adding input. Uh, in this case, we're just doing an, uh, we're adding integers. So I would say in here, array list integer number. So this is the name of the array list. This is the thing that we're going to be storing on here. And then we're just taking in integers in this case instead of strings, but roughly, you know, same thing. Uh, and our break condition here is like if someone enters negative one, that's a, a, a common sign to say, you know, time to stop. And then we're adding this to the array list. Okay, um, so slightly different. We're doing integers here instead of strings, but roughly the same idea. Now, what you need to do on this one is you want to go line by line for this and print out all of the values in here. Um, in order to do that, I might make a separate video kind of covering this, but for right now, maybe when you look at this in the future, it'll all already be here, but look over this. This is going to tell you like how to start by just how do we do this if we didn't have loops, and then how to actually loop through this. Um, gives you some examples. And so read through this, and hopefully that'll help you kind of get this figured out. But really it's just taking integers and then your goal is down here somewhere you want to go through and print out each individual value.